Oh, what did I? Okay. Uh, uh let's do private investigator. If that's the highest we can go, that's what we do. <laughs> Arkham Asylum. Nice. Now, at my end, I can fully see. My last case opened in me a new fear. A real fear. A fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds. And it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. I guess that's me. Asylum if some of them are already out and this guy managed to make a noose. Whatever, we'll leave them on. I've never played this, so we'll see what they have to say. <laughs> Before the fall. Better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any. Victor? He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the locals scared. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. I better Lead have the a way, fucking Robert. gun. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. Officer Nichols will brief you at the top. Be careful. What's taking him so long? Something must be wrong. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Oh, 
Try to stay calm. I don't think that's calm. As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe, a doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the Elder Things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. Hmm. You have picked up your first journal item, select the back the book icon in the interface to study your journal. It may reveal vital clues. Uh, when the book icon is grayed out, there are no new entries. Okay. Well, let's Oh, it doesn't support that. Really? That's going to be a pain in the ass then. I can't use like the side mouse. It's going to be a stupid. I actually switched it already because before it was um it was S, but I like S being back. Keep shooting. It's locked. That's simple strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. It is a flaming eye. Watch where we stay. No, no, we don't need to save. Why don't I have a gun? At last! <gasps> you. Don't budge. It won't open. I can't open it. Poisoned suck. by the looks of it. He's dead. They're all dead. I can't open it. Why am I tripping balls? I can't open it. Yeah, I'm getting real sick of your shit. Nothing of interest. A diary. This will make interesting reading. We have been watching him now for two months. I can feel my anticipation growing as the day of contact draws near. Victor has not yet divulged his final plan for bringing Mr. Walters to us. All I know is that we must succeed. The sermon today was inspiring. Victor enlightened, uh, enlightened us with the story of the great race transcending the bonds of time to visit his dreams of the conscious things on this earth and in the ocean depths. We are but servants to a greater design. I can only hope that my faith during these days will win me favor when our master steps through the gate. <sighs> the experiments below have claimed one of our order. 
Another volunteer is needed, but many are willing. So that's not bad then. We are truly blessed through our faithful service now that his coming grows so close. The preparations are complete and Victor's plan is in motion. He will arrive soon. Surely by now he must suspect his true nature or at least question the nature of his gifts. He has come. Finally, it begins. Whatever. Uh, I guess I'm becoming a victim of my own success. After closing the last five cases so fast, the papers have been calling me a local hero, but I just had a run of lucky hunches, that's all. I'm just another cop doing his job. So there's a disturbance at a local residence. It's probably just a bunch of kids hopped up on moonshine. Why call a detective? Maybe the uniform boys are sore at being out in this weather and they want to share the joy with the local hero. It wouldn't be the first good-natured prank they've had to take since those newspaper reports. I've had to take since those newspaper reports. I don't know though, something doesn't feel right. It's more than just a regular bad feeling. It's hard to explain, but it's strong. I'm probably just tired. Those dreams don't help. I can't remember when I last got a good night's sleep. It must be a month at least. Right about the time I started my run of lucky hunches. The dreams have been getting worse lately. I'm almost afraid to close my eyes. Bourbon helped me at first, but not anymore. The lack of sleep must be affecting my nerves. Well, jitters or not, I better get going. Damn right, we better get going. Oh, wait, wait, there's nothing in here right now. Guess there's no sneaking up on him. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Wild. Shit. Is that necessary? Ooh, a key. A key? This he's dead. Looks like a bad case of an old Open the other page. Okay. Wardrobe. Whatever. I'm assuming it doesn't open these doors, but I want to try. Budge. It's locked. It's locked. It's the wrong key. Ugh, suck. It's unlocked. Yay, it's unlocked. I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. They really all like you, dude. There must be some kind of mistake. Nope. Why would they want me here? They want you. Uh, it must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I've got to think. You're not thinking hard enough. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Nope. Nothing of interest. How is there nothing of interest? Nothing that of is interest definitely here. sticking out. All these photos and clippings are of me. I just don't get it. Another key. This should fit the door across the hall. What the hell is going on? It seems they've been tracking my movements. The fire is still burning. Thank you, that was obvious. It's unlocked. For nutcases, they seem quite literate. Oh, they These have books to have something are really going old, for them. and most of them are in strange languages I don't understand. It appears to be a private study area. It appears to be a private study area. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. to be a translation from classical Greek of a far older work from before the time of the first humans. The pages are stained, faded, and even burned in some places, making reading difficult. 
the legible sections tell the history of, a, of unthinkably distant antiquity. What else? a cop and we don't have a fucking weapon. Well, that's just swell. No, what's swell is you didn't pick up the fucking shotgun off one of these dead hobos. Dead bodies. And plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. God damn. it again. Well, you should have. Probably would have turned it off. This tunnel feels like it's going to collapse at any moment. All the more reason to just keep going. There's no power. That. How the hell should I know? Who's I wonder on? what it's for. It looks like something's been removed from it. I'd say so. It's too hot to touch. I think it's being used as a power source for the machine. Steal that one now that that dude's dead. The crystal's still warm. Hmm. There's no power. Oh, that's right. Shit, I gotta put it in. Looks like something's been removed from it. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming.
According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. That's deep, bro. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told myself. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. D did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Ryan Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. 